I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Alcatraz Island. The first thing I'm going to do, because this is an island, I'm going to put a dot right there in the center of my paper. And from that dot going towards the left, I draw a slightly wavy, wavy line down and leave it floating. Come back to the dot and now towards the right, wavy, wavy line down and leave it floating. Come back to the left. Right about here, we're going to do a wavy line down and leave it floating. Come back over here on the right. We're going to come to that point and we're going to bring it up, bring it over, and bring it down and leave that floating. Come back over here to the left. We draw a slightly curved line up, slightly curved line up again, and bring it down. Starting right behind this, we're going to draw a straight line, connect, straight line over, straight line down, connect. Come up a little bit above that and we're just going to draw a little straight line, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, straight line, connect. Now, at this point, we draw a straight line all the way over and draw a straight line down, connect, and right here where we stop, we're going to draw a straight line, connect on the left, little straight line going across the top, straight line all the way down, and connect. Come up to this space on the top, and we're just going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, little curve line, connect on top. On the left hand side, we draw a little curve line out and in. Right hand side, little curve line out and in. Right in the middle, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Underneath, one, two, little straight lines. Underneath there, one, two, three, four straight lines, one, two, three, four straight lines, and I'll leave that there. Now, jump over, straight line out, straight line down, connect. Draw a little straight diagonal out, straight line in, leave it floating, straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, and leave it floating. Because now, right here where this line is, we're going to draw another slightly curved line out and leave it floating. Lots of floating lines. All right, come all the way back over here on the left, and we're just going to add a straight line, connect. And now if you can fit them in, little boxes, one, two, three, four, come up to this space, straight line, straight line, straight line across, straight line, little straight line, straight line, connect, straight line across, connect, jump over, straight line, straight line down, and now a bunch of boxes. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And now we got to fill in all this space. Everybody's going to end up with a different amount because we all draw differently. But all of this space needs to have boxes. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect all the way across. Okay. Now this space needs to come over with a curved line. And down here we're going to put some boxes. We're going to draw a little slightly curved line and add some more boxes. And I'll tell you what these boxes are once we get done. All right, now let's come over to this space and let's add one curved line, two curved lines right there, little straight diagonal out, 
straight line down, connect. Okay, let me see if that's everything, and I think it is. I'll always know when I start coloring, or when we all start coloring. Okay, now we're going to come in anywhere on this space, and we're just going to draw slightly wavy lines out, down, and floating. One more slightly wavy line out, down, and leave it floating. Now, because it is an island, we're going to do wavy, wavy, wavy line. Keep going. Wavy, 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 wavy line. Connect. Do another layer. Wavy, wavy, wavy line. Keep going, keep going. All the way up and connect. Down here at the bottom, slightly wavy line because this is still the ocean. And now come all the way up to the top and we're going to draw skinny mini clouds. Skinny mini clouds. They can be floating or they can be going off the page just to give a little dimension to our drawing. Okay? Alright. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, they used to call Alcatraz the rock because it is like a big rock in the middle of the ocean. So what we're going to do is we're going to just draw some green up, down, up, down everywhere we see a line. So I'm going to bring some green. This is like going to be part of the rock, part of the island. We're just going to get a coat of color on all the spaces. This is an actual bush or tree. So I'm going to color this in green. But pretty much everything else we're just going to put, if you see a black line, just put a little bit of color down. Usually we work from light to dark. Next, most of it is sea rock. So first I'm going to do a loop-de-loop -loop and I'm doing the island part first. And I'm going to go over the green I just drew. Work my way over. Don't be afraid to get those colors blended together. Now, if you have multicultural crayons, you've got a different array of browns and beiges that you can use, but I don't have those, so I'm just going to use my brown crayon with my green and that will be sufficient. So now that I've kind of got my rock, my island colored in, the whole part of this building is kind of an off-white. We call it institutional beige. So the only thing I'm coloring are all those boxes. I'm going to color those in all brown. Other than that, you leave it all alone. So you got all of these. Now this is important. This is the lighthouse. This was the first lighthouse on the Pacific Coast ever built. So this is important. But even that, I'm just going to do my boxes brown and leave it alone. And then, intermittently, that means every once in a while, I'm just going to come in and put some brown on my, underneath my, my black lines, just to give it a little bit of color and dimension. Not a lot, because like I said, it's mainly all kind of an off-white. Okay, so we'll just leave that alone. Now, I take my black. And this is always kind of dangerous because you don't want to add too much. And I'm just going to put some black shading. And I'm going to follow my black lines I already drew. And just put a little bit of black on my island rock. Okay? Not a lot because you don't want to lose your drawing. But you do want it to look like it's part of this rock island landscape. Seascape, maybe, because it's right in the ocean. Okay, now 
when you start using black you can always add more black but you can't take it away so I'm gonna leave mine alone right there next the whole entire island is in the middle of San Francisco Bay so I'm going to take my blue green and I'm going to loop de loop in between my wavy lines blend it with your island colors bring it all the way up and around you guys will do a way better job than me but you get the general idea we want this to be ocean water San Francisco Bay water and it is an island so it's smack dab in the middle of the bay there's nothing else out there except water now I'm going to bring it out to the edge of my papers on both side, sides bring it all the way over loop-de-loop -loop, and then you can come back in if it's too white and lightly color over so you get rid of that you could also do two tones if you have like I said before some of you have fancy crayons you can use those if you don't you can use what I'm doing this is blue green turquoise okay now I am using the side of my fat blue crayon to do the sky it's a very blue drawing try not to hit your clouds try not to hit your institution that's why I like using a flat blue fat crayon I keep all my crayons I don't care how destroyed they look doesn't matter to me they still work and sometimes you want them broken like this okay I think that's all now that I'm done I'm looking at my rock and I'm thinking you know this could use a little bit more brown get those white spaces out of the way so you'll know when you finish if you need to work on it a little bit more okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's Alcatraz Island all colored in originally in 1861 it was a naval defense fortification which you can understand no boats could get by it it turned into a federal penitentiary prison in 1934 had many famous criminals and like I said it was the first lighthouse 1854 on the Pacific Coast okay bye bye